Yeah, what is the meaning of momentum in physics? In real life, meron tayong definition ng momentum. For example, uh, kapag sinabi natin na nasa momentum na tayo, for example, ikaw, tapos na-feel mo na nasa momentum ka na of studying. For example, nasa momentum ka na of studying, nag-study ka na ng uh, physics, kahit anong subject yung uh, pinag-aaralan mo, and then, uh, and then uh, here comes your mother na inutusan ka bumili ng toyo, for example. Uh, kaya anak, bili ka muna doon ng toyo or ng uh, suka, for example. Ano ang feel natin? Ma, kadali lang yung kayo ma, because naanak ko sa momentum of studying. Di ba, no? Very enthusiastic na kayo ma, very enthusiastic. That means, uh, it will be very difficult to stop. Okay? Hindi, uh, ayaw natin, uh, ayaw natin uh, mag-stop if we are in the momentum. For example, if I will say na I am now in the momentum of teaching, ibig sabihin nun na I am very enthusiastic, for example, it will be very difficult for me to stop kasi nga nasa momentum na ako. Naku ha? Or in, uh, for example, sa laro, sa basketball, for example, naglalaro ka ng basketball, kapag kasi sinabi na nasa momentum na yung team natin, guys, keep it up, nasa momentum na yung team natin, ibig sabihin, unstoppable na yung ano natin. Hindi na, ma, hindi na ma-block yung mga shots, hindi na ma-mintis. Okay? Lagi na lang na, lagi na lang pumapasok yung mga tira sa basketball, for example. That's the, that's the everyday conception natin of momentum. Okay, or sa, sa Mobile Legends, for example. Kapag ka nasa momentum na yung uh, hero natin, for example, nasa momentum ka na, ibig sabihin, killing spree na, or legendary na. Napa, hindi na siya ma-shutdown. Napakahirap na i-shutdown. Nag-snowball na, for example. That's our common conception, common idea of momentum. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka sinabi natin na nasa momentum na tayo, na napakataas na ng momentum, it will be very difficult to stop. Get the point? It will be very difficult to stop. That is the same definition of momentum in physics. Pareho lang. So for example, we have a bus. For example, meron tayong bus. Yan. Okay? And the bus is moving at 1 kilometer per hour. Yan, bus is moving at 1 kilometer per hour. Napakabagal, no? 1 kilometer per hour lang, mabagal yung takbo. And then we have a bicycle. For example. Again, <laughs> nandatay bicycle for example. And uh, the bicycle is also moving at 1 kilometer per hour. Alam natin, logic would tell us, common sense would tell us na it will be very difficult. It is more difficult to stop that bus. <laughs> Tama, no? Wala mo siguro nag-try yung stop sa bus. Okay, stop ka bus, stop. Uh -huh. It will be very difficult to stop that bus. Kahit na that bus is just moving at a very low speed, napakabagal lang ng movement ng bus, it will be very difficult to stop that bus kasi nga it is very massive. Do you follow? Since the bus is very massive, napakataas ng kanyang mass, ibig sabihin napakataas ng kanyang momentum, it will be very difficult to stop that bus. Common sense would tell us, ano? Hindi, hindi naman kailangan itry. Itry daw stop ang bus. Good. However, a bicycle traveling at the same speed will be easier to stop. Kasi nga, uh, maliit yung kanyang mass, ibig sabihin, maliit din ang kanyang momentum. So it will be easier for us to stop that bicycle. So what does it mean? It means the relationship between momentum and mass is directly proportional. Yan. Ibig sabihin, more massive, mas mataas ang kanyang momentum. Ibig sabihin, mas mahirap siya stop Okay? So ako, payat man ko, gamay man ko mas. So gamay rin kong momentum. Alam, sige raw gato. <laughs> Good? However, a bicycle will be easier to stop because it has less mass. Clear? So sir, kapag less mass ba, kapag mababa ba yung mass ng isang object, ibig sabihin ba sir, automatically mababa na din yung momentum? Meron pa tayong isang variable. For example, let's consider a bullet. Dito tayo sa bullet. Ayan. Okay, for example, meron tayong bullet. Ito. And then alam natin na mag-aalang yung bullet. Tama? For example, the bullet 
only uh, weighs one gram. Magaan lang, one gram lang. However, when the bullet moves, for example, is triggered, that bullet will travel at 300 meters per second. Good? So even though that the bullet is, or uh, the bullet has small mass, however, the bullet travels at a very high speed. Napakataas ng kanyang velocity. Ibig sabihin, napakataas din ng kanyang momentum. Di ba, no? It will be very difficult for us to stop that bullet. Okay, samay mo try to stop the bullet. <laughs> Nako, ha? It will be very difficult for us to stop that bullet. Bakit? Kasi nga, kahit na magdaan siya, napakataas naman ng kanyang velocity. Okay, follow? So, mataas ang velocity, ibig sabihin, mataas din ang momentum. Maliit yung velocity or slow yung velocity, ibig sabihin, mababa din yung momentum. So, basically, the relationship between momentum and velocity is also direct. Yeah? Even though one gram lang yan, ang isang object, if that object is traveling at very high speed, alam natin na napakalaki yung damage na pwede niya magawa. Naku, ha? That is why in the International Space Station, International Space Station, nasa outer space, Hindi pwede na hindi pwede na pataka na kaglabay sa mga debris. <laughs> For example, maglabay lang ka og uh, ballpoint pen. Okay, maglabay ka og ball pen for example. Gaan lang kaya no? Ah, okay na, ilabay lang na sa gawas, so, ilabay sa gawas. For example, maglabay ta og isa ka object which has 5 gram, 5 gram lang which weighs 5 gram. Isang object weighing 5 gram sa International Space Station. So magaan lang siya no? So baka akalain natin na maliit lang yung damage na makaya niya. <laughs> if this 5 gram object yan is traveling at a very high speed in the in the in the, in the, in the outer space for example it is traveling at let's say 11,000 meters per second. Even though napakaliit lang ng object na yan if it is traveling at a very high speed for example tinapon mo siya sa labas ng International Space Station the moment it hits any satellite it will cause a lot of damage. Okay, follow? Kasi nga, napakataas ng kanyang momentum. Kasi napakataas ng kanyang velocity. Mataas na velocity, ibig sabihin, mataas din yung momentum. Is it clear? Okay, yung 5 gram na yan, uh, it does not mean na hindi na siya mag-create ng uh, damage. But depende pa din sa velocity. So we have two variables or two factors that determines the momentum of an object. Kung gaano ba siya kahirap stop. Okay? First is the mass. More massive means mahirap stop. Second is the velocity. Okay? Both of which are directly, directly related to momentum. <laughs> 